if you recall on the show we were talking about about feed-in tariffs uh, what you have to do is actually to motivate people is pay them more uh, than than the the going rate uh, for the for the energy um, various states around the country are doing that um, as we've heard some cities are doing it but it won't motivate uh, people to put in solar systems or wind even if, if that's not the case. There is a movement, a local food movement, and it's about producing food in the city as well as having more available local produce trucked in at, for produce markets. Um, actually, there's someone who's using urban agriculture as an economic development engine in Detroit uh, who has bought up a lot of brownfield sites where people have been moving out of, of Detroit and building urban gardens and actually doing this at a commercial scale. But the fact is, we're really never going to have um, food independent cities. It's, it's just not feasible even if you talk about the high-rise gardens and so forth. So the matter is to figure out how best to use, to think regionally about, about food. There's two ways to motivate higher rates of recycling. One I mentioned on the program and that is that people, recycling is free but people have to pay by the bag for, for the amount of garbage that they produce. Um, another way to do it is in, in the frequency of collection. So in cities that collect organic waste and recyclables, they'll collect those once a week or twice a week, but they'll collect the other garbage once, once every two weeks. And so you're highly motivated to produce the kind of garbage that gets collected. I use paper cups for my tea at work. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much.